Care family, how you doing? This is Chris from Affinity Senior Care. I wanted to uh, follow up with you about the daily logs. How important it is our daily logs are to us, and that we we um, communicate with each other what's going on in your client's home. It's super important for us. It's really important for the client too. These daily logs are not only going to to us, but it's also going to the family members to understand what's going on on that day. So I just wanted to uh, go over and share with you what the uh, the scope of care and the guidelines are regarding the daily logs that you will be submitting every day after your shift. So I'm going to share a screen with you right now. And so the, the link that the mobile app that we have has the, the daily logs on there. You could always view them at all times all right and so we always supply you with that it's going to be in your virtual orientation email that we send over to you um and it looks like this so your phone will have these features right here and uh it'll look like this on your phone as well too so you'd go over to your daily log you'd click on it <clears throat> and uh it's going to pop up on your phone right away and it's going to look like this and you're going to put your the time card management is that you're going to put your client's name, uh, your name, and uh, the shift time when you started and the time that you ended and the actual time that you were working there. And then page two will be the transportation mileage reimbursement. So if you're going over five miles from the client's home, we reimburse you. And uh, um, the you know running errands, going to doctor appointments, social gatherings, picking up groceries, uh, so if you were to go and travel with your client or go pick up stuff for them, you could mark where their address from, from and to in the total amount of mileage will reimburse you for that. And then the personal care, what type of personal care that you're providing in the home would be important. Uh, what exactly are you doing in the home? <clears throat> are you uh, uh, providing bed baths? Are you doing uh, uh, showers in an actual shower? Uh, are you taking off their dentures and, and cleaning it? Are you shaving them? Are you assisting them with their dressing? And then positive comment on the bottom about how your your the scope of care of your personal care uh, was on the shift. And then as well as you're lifting and transferring, are you, are you transferring them from the bed? Are you transferring from the wheelchair, uh, from, the, from the shower chair? What type of assisted devices are you using when you're doing lifting and transferring? Give a, give a comment of how your day was with lifting and transferring. And then continence and, and elimination, what type of uh, supply uh, assisted devices are you using? Did you empty the catheter? Did you empty a colostomy bag? Did you use the bedside commode? Did you assist them when toileting? And give a comment of how your day went with it made it possible how many bowel movements they had as well too and uh, housekeeping as well if what would you wash their clothes did you fold their clothes do you do some dishes dusting countertops grocery shopping and running errands what type of housekeeping did you do go in the refrigerator check all their expired items and then i uh, explain in the bottom what exactly you did and then meal preparation as well did you make breakfast lunch or dinner did you pick up dinner and warm it up did you put it in the freezer was it taken out of the freezer freezer and put and warmed up in the refrigerator did you make a meal for them and then were there any type of restrictions diabetic restrictions low sodium uh did they have a feeding tube and um you know, or were, did you assist them with feeding uh, pureed or, or uh, grounding up the food so that way it's a little bit easier for them. And then their favorite foods that they like to eat always, if you could put that in the meal prep area. And then as well as special tasks, did they have a re need respiratory care? Did they have stroke care, which is it leaving the hospital and have a stroke? Is it paralyzed on one side? Are they bed bound? Are they total care? Co completely cannot use their hands and their legs? Uh, were they a fall risk? Did you check their vitals? Uh, where they have, do they have Alzheimer's? Uh, and then the, at the end is you're going to so sign your, your name. doesn't have to be perfect, but sign your name. If you screw up, hit the X button, and it'll just reset. And then today's date, and then the client has to sign. You could do this from your mobile phone. And, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we like a signature, especially if it's going to insurance companies. It has to be done. It's mandatory. And then today's date, and if the client cannot sign, you have to authorize that they did not sign. And then you hit submit. So that's about it. Uh, that is about the daily log. If you have any questions or concerns about anything, please contact the office. 
Here's the phone number, uh, 248-363-8430. We're available 24-7. You contact us. But these daily logs are mandatory, uh, and we want you to, to, um, to submit them every day after your shift. All right? Take care, home care family, and I will see you soon.